You already know that in EV, we have an option called Bloom. When turned on, it creates a fancy glowing effect for any emission object or any light. But you cannot animate this. You can change these settings to control the Bloom effect, but you cannot keyframe these values. Whatever change you make to this, it stays as a static effect for the entire animation. You cannot change it dynamically. So in this tutorial, we will learn how we can still animate this bloom effect and change the bloom intensity dynamically, or even turn it on and off, whenever we need throughout an animation. And in addition to this, there is one more problem with bloom. If you enable the transparency option under this render properties, you will get a transparent output, along with bloom, but open that image in any external image editor, and the bloom effect will go missing. So we will also learn, how to create the bloom effect truly with a transparent background. The technique is quite same for both. We have to use the compositor in order to create these effects. So, let us open the compositor here. You can close this section. Then, turn on this use nodes section, and you'll get two nodes by default. One is called the render layer, and another is the composite node, which is our final output. On this render layer, we have three output sockets, image, alpha, and depth. Now, go to this View Layers tab, and under Passes, scroll down to the section called Effects, and turn on this Bloom option. As a result, Blender will add a fourth column here called Bloom, which we'll use in order to dynamically control the Bloom effect. And we also need this Alpha channel. So go back to the Render Properties tab. Expand this Film section, and enable this Transparent option. While this is enabled, we can render a transparent layer, as well as we can also render a normal, opaque output, with solid background. So don't get worried to turn it on, we'll discuss both the cases. Let us set up the required nodes to use this bloom output. So go to the Add menu, and under Converter, add one color ramp node, and just place here. Then connect this bloom output, to the FAC input of the color ramp node we just added. Again go to the Add menu, and from the color group, add one node called Mix Node. Then change its type from Mix to Add Type. And connect the alpha output of the render layer to the first image input here. And then connect the image output of the color ramp node to the second image input of this. Finally, go to the Add menu once more and add another node under the converter called Set Alpha here. Let us place it just after the Add node. Then, bring the image output from the render layer, and connect to the image input of the set alpha node. And connect the image output of the add node, to the alpha input of this node. After that, connect its image output, to our composite node, for a final output. Collectively, this will remove the background, as well as the bloom effect completely. Let us also verify it. So press F12 to render this frame. As you can see, we have a transparent background and no bloom effect. In case you really need a transparent output, along with bloom effect, please change this option to replace alpha. If you now hit F12 once more, you'll get the bloom effect with transparent background. Unlike the normal transparent output, this has the correct alpha, so if you export this image to any other image processing software, you'll get bloom and transparency both perfectly together. Now let us see the other part, how to animate the bloom effect in a scene. But before that, let us display the output right here, in the backdrop of this panel. For that, go to the Add menu, and from the Output group, add a Viewer node, and place it here. Then connect the image output of Set Alpha, to the image input of this node. Finally, turn on this backdrop, and you can see the output right here, on this screen. Now in order to see a solid background for the output, you need to first change this back to Apply Mask. Then you have to superimpose this, Set Alpha Output, on a background color of your choice. So, go to the Add menu, and under Color, add one Alpha over Node. Now, for the background on this image one, let us select a dark color. You can select any color of your choice, or you can even use a texture, or an HDRI background as well for this. Then connect the image output of this set alpha, to this second image input. As a result, this output image will be superimposed on whatever background color or image we set to this first box. Now connect its output to the composite node, and also to our viewer. Now we can see the output with a solid background as expected, but there is no bloom effect. 
We can control the bloom effect by simply moving this white handle in our color ramp node. As we move it toward the left, the bloom effect slowly gets visible around the emission objects in this scene. So our job is done, and also, we can dynamically control this bloom from frame to frame and animate it by adding suitable keyframes. We are currently at frame number one. Let us move this handle toward the extreme right and we'll keyframe this value. So right-click and insert a keyframe. Then, let us go to, say, frame number 50. We'll change this value. We need to take it very close to the black handle that will create the maximum bloom effect. We cannot use zero, but we need something very close to zero, like 0 .00001. And we get the maximum bloom effect. Let us also insert a keyframe for this. Next, we'll go to frame number 100. And let us change it back to 1 to remove the bloom effect. We have to keyframe it as well so that the bloom slowly gets visible and then it again fades out. And if you want this to happen repetitively in a cycle, we can easily do that in the graph editor. First, select this color ramp node where we have added the keyframes. Then, open the graph editor from here. We'll add a cycle modifier for this. So open this toolbox and go to the modifiers tab. Then add a modifier called cycles. And you'll see that the three keyframes that we had added for the bloom effect are now repeated automatically for an eternal duration. If you are not already familiar with this graph editor, you can check our foundation level tutorial on graph editor, where we have discussed its basic functionalities, the link is in the video description. So, let us now render the animation. Once complete, we'll get an output like this, where the bloom effect changes periodically. We can also achieve this by animating the intensity of the emission light, but there are places where you do not want to change the light intensity, this technique can be then very useful. You can now turn on and turn off bloom effect dynamically. I'll show you one more fancy effect using the same setup. So, instead of this ad, let us change it to a difference type. And then, if you move this white handle toward the left, you will get a black color sphere, but the bloom effect will stay as it is around it. This is not a realistic scene, but this looks so beautiful, you can use it for some decorative purpose. I just discovered this and thought of sharing with you. This is a powerful setup, and by changing few things here and there, you can also discover some nice effects. Do experiment with this, and let us know if you create something very unique, we are all ears to hear your story. And in case you work in Cycles Engine, it does not come with Bloom support, but you can create one in the compositor, using the glare and the blur nodes. Please let us know if you'd like to see a tutorial on that. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.